Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. It is the third beer from these guys in Hebden Bridge from the Vocation people. And we're going to do another one of their uh, new releases, another the second of the, the version series for Hop, Skip and Juice. If you're watching yesterday, you'll know what it is. So it is the uh, Hop, Skip and Juice Passion Fruit, uh, Passion Fruit Pale. This comes in at 5.5% ABV. It says so there and um, best before on this one is march 2024 it says so on the bottom there i am um, can art very similar to the one i did yesterday they use it some people use do pale that really wasn't very good really wasn't very good i am um, hopefully this one will be better very similar that one was a bright that one was a, a hazy orange this is a, a nice purple color that stands out for me this was to hit the shelf of the supermarket that would stand out uh, on the back, it says um, our flagship Hazy Pale, Hazy Pale Ale, hopped with citrusy Simcoe and Mosaic, juiced up to the brim with tropical passion fruit flavour, tart, tropical and juicy, soft, medium bodied with a tropical cocktail of juicy hop aroma and a tart passion fruit finish, Simcoe and Mosaic. So it's exactly the same hops as what was in the um, tropical um, used to pale. Um, and 440ml can, that last one, yet this day, if you've watched, was a 330ml can. Why you did that, I've got no idea. Anyway, focusing on this, let's have a little look. So this jump, I say jump for Joyce, jump for Joyce, jump for Juice, you donut. A version of Hop, Skip and Juice. I enjoyed Hop, Skip and Juice when I reviewed it. Let's pop a top, see what we've got. Yeah, I enjoyed it, I thought it was a very really nice beer. Good summertime beer for me. I... Um, And as I said yesterday, I think we've been better off. Unless this is a will, unless this is really good, they've probably been better off just um, sticking to the recipe, but maybe doing a dry hopped version or an IPA version, Jack, or a session, an even lower session version of like three and a half percent, something like that. Anyway, there we go. So being at last, what have we got? It's exactly the same as what we had yesterday. And it's actually the same as what we had um, on Friday. Um, hazy, again, dirty orange, cordial looking beer. We've got two fingers, soapy, white head. It does look good. I can't deny that. Good. Right, let's get the nose so we can smell to go for it. I'm getting tropical. I'm getting trouble on those. I'm getting a bit of passion fruit coming through. Yeah, I'm getting that. that I'm getting that, that that tartiness coming through from from that passion fruit. It smells. It does smell okay. It smells good. Let's go for the body combination. Cheers. Okay, so I was trying to calm my skin. Um, carbonation is light. Um, body is light. Um, it's not bad in that department. Let's go for the big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Ooh. This is my this is my youngest kitten. This is Daisy. You can't see her face because you won't show her face on camera, but you will see her tail. I am um, so I, I get I get an earthiness to this. Uh and I do get I do get a sweet tropical sweet and sour tartiness. Um and then a bit of a bit of a tingle. On the back end, up front, it's it's light and juicy, light and tropical. But you've got to you've got to get a big mouthful for me. I mean, maybe I've wrecked my palate with 
triple IPAs and double IPAs and Imperials and whatnot. This is okay. It's not brilliant. Again, it's not a. It's not going to win any awards. It's not a well beater. It's not. It. You know what? You know what this is. Given the current state of supermarket beers, this is a supermarket beer. Given the current state of what I've had this week in supermarket beers, the two, uh, the Northern Monk, the Heretic, and the Tank Petrol, uh, the Arcade made by Brew Dog. This is, a, this is a supermarket beer for me, and that's going to be. You know what? That might be. That might define going going further into the, into my reviews. That might define a poorly put together beer. That phrase, supermarket beer. There's a little bit of tartness to it. There's a little bit of citrus in there. Tropical fruit. You do get the passion fruit. It's definitely there, and there's an earthiness to it. But it all comes out the that, that earthiness comes out the back end. It goes a little bit dry too. Um, but it's not great. And I'm wondering if this has just been a rush, a, a, a rush job. That's not the red I'm looking for. But it's probably the best way I've got to get to describe what I'm thinking. If it's been. It has been rushed through, and if, if they're going to do it again, there's, there's these versions where they take one of their, their flagship beers and change it to something and do something else. What are they going to do it with? They've battered naughty and nice because that's been the, the sort of the Christmas beers. They that the, the celebration box that they did that was taken off the shelf rapidly because of, of trade descriptions and, and copyright infringements and stuff. That was naughty and nice as, as a base. They've done, the, they've done naughty and nice before. With various incarnations of that at like various levels of ABV. You've got to ask about with the beer. Then don't switch flavours around because it doesn't work. It didn't work with the love and hate. The love and hate. The sour IPA was nice, but it wasn't good compared to the triple dry hopped and the normal love and hate and the double IPA. Um, just make it easy, make it simple, make it easy. Got a pail, either lower the ABV and make it a session pail, higher the ABV, make it make it a, a, a make an IPA or a double IPA, whatever you want to do with it. Do something with it. Don't ask about with the flavours. Because sometimes when I hide into that, the original is usually the best. I'm so disappointed in these two. So disappointed. Hop, skip, and juice. So, right, so I'm not going to even going to bother doing a, a side by side comparison. I didn't want this video to go long, as long as what it has done. I had a little bit of rant there, I do apologise. I'm not going to do it. I was going to do a side by side with this, the Yuzu, and the Hop, skip, and juice. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. Hop, skip, and juice is better than these two. It's as simple as that. I'm borderline furious with. with vocation for doing this my dander's up that's all I'm going to say my dander's up right let's wrap this review up oh, there's no more left freak it out I'll do that on the glass so vocation jump for juice passion fruit pale 5.5% this is a variation of hop skip and juice do I like it no would I buy it again? No. Would I recommend it to friends? No. It's poor. That's all it is. It's, it's not bad, it's just poor. And now furious. So, if you've been fortunate enough to have this beer, or in fact, and I've still got it here, have this. Any of these. Let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I may be way off the mark with this way off I am um, but let me know I say let me know put a little comment in the comments box below like the video do that like the video do that subscribe down there the usual stuff and I'll see you in the next one stay there stay safe drink good beer hello